Indiana Jones and the Great Circle is by far the biggest and longest game that Machine Games has ever done. With nearly four hours of cutscenes, Dustin Bailey over at Games Radar, modern Wolfenstein, uh, Wolfenstein developer Machine Games is taking some big swings with this next project, Indiana Jones and the Great Circle, that includes the game's scope. Indy's Adventure is apparently going to be the lengthiest game that the studio has ever put together. Quote, by far, this is the biggest and longest game the Machine Games have ever done. And quote, creative director Axel Turvinas said in a rapid fire interview session with Min Max, he doesn't get into specifics about exact power count, but according to how long to beat Wolfenstein the New Order and Wolfenstein 2, Wolfenstein 2, the Colossus, the New Colossus, both clocked in around 11 to 17 hour range, depending on how much side content you undertake. With indie placing more emphasis on puzzles and exploration, it's easy to see how it might eclipse the studio's previous games. Asked how many hours of cutscenes are in the game, Trevina says, quote, there's roughly three hours and 45 or 40 minutes or something along those lines. It's a lot. That's roughly in line with the non-interactive parts of Wolfenstein 2. As YouTube supercuts of the game's cutscenes run between three and four hours, depending on the fans who are doing the editing. Interesting little tidbit, Michael. Where do you think, how long do you think this game is? Are we doubling? Are we in with, dude, are we back into the 40, 50 hour mark, you think? I don't think we're gonna go 40, 50 hours. I think this is 20 to 30, probably 25 to 30. It really, I think it's gonna depend on how much side content you take in. They did their deep dive. You and I talked about it probably about yeah. a week, two weeks ago, and they very heavily specified and really leaned into this whole idea of like, sure, you could go from point A to point B and that's not a problem, but they really kind of have this like, while you're going from point A to point B, there's gonna be thing C that distracts you. And you're gonna go to thing C and then thing D is gonna be down here. And you might see thing E, depending on where you are, right? And it really, I think, is going to depend on... It would not shock me if this is one of those, like... Hey, maybe it's 15, 20 hours to beat just the main story. But then it's yeah. 30. Maybe even 35 hours if you want 100% the game, right? One of those wide, wide gaps. Because they really lean in, like... Hey, there's some crazy puzzles that you might have to go back, take this picture, and then be like, Oh, hey, yeah, I gotta go over here. And there's definitely some clues you're gonna have to figure out. So, you know, I don't know how much time they're factoring into actually solving some of those puzzles. I think there's a couple of them even showing the deep dive, like, all right, you gotta do this. You've gotta remember this number. Go over to this painting. Make sure you input the right number. So, you know, they're gonna count on how many times I gotta write this down in my notebook, grab my <laughs> notebook out. So, I think we're really in that 25 to 30 range, maybe 35 if you're really 100% in the game. But... I think that's cool, right? It's almost like, uh, you know, it's almost like an MMO at this point, right? It's like, how, what do you want to get out of it? Do you just want to go boom, boom? I want to be indie. I want to figure out the story. All right, I'm done. See you guys later. Or is it, I want to platinum this game. I want to get every achievement. I'm going to be here for the long haul. Yeah, it's going to be an interesting one. I think everybody's place length is going to be different, right? It's going to be very dependent on what you're doing. You beeline the story. What is that? Versus, okay, I'm going to go and explore every nook and cranny of the level where does that take me and where is that side quest kind of venture off to right i do like that they are opening up to <clears throat> excuse me all this exploration opportunity i think that makes it a lot more exciting than just going okay something of like nathan drake back in the day right mm -hmm. when you played uncharted it was very linear but as you saw the game progress over the years it opened up a little bit and i think that's kind of where we're getting at here how much is that going to compare to uncharted as i already brought it in just on this discussion right so it is one of those things, which is, I think, one of the reasons why they went first person instead of third person, even though I would have preferred the yep. third person a lot more. You and I talked about that quite uh, quite a lot here on the show. So I think it's going to be an interesting game. I am more and more excited the more I see about the game, which has me pretty excited because it's really not that far away now at all, Michael, is it?